video, I'm going to try the world's famous chocolate bar by Mr. Beast called Feastables. I'm sure you all seen it all over the internet, but this review is different because I'm comparing to the Reese's Peanut Butter Cups and to the Hershey's and I have a seven year old kid with me that's trying Feastables and Hershey's bar and tell you guys which one is better and let's roll the clip without wasting your time. Let's review the original flavor first. It says share in here, as you can Are see. You serious right now, bro. All right, let's try the original flavor of Feastables. It's a little bit tastes like dark chocolate because it's original chocolate, you know. If I go to a store and see this, I'm probably gonna pick this up because it's too dark for me. But it was a pretty good chocolate, and I give this a 6.2 out of 10. All right, it's now time to try the almond flavor. Before I try this, I just want to say Mr. Beast or Feastable not sponsored me yet. Unfortunately, what a shame. So Feastables, if you're seeing this, or Mr. Beast, send me some supplies, man. All right, let's open this up, guys. The almond flavor of Feastables. Oh, it's broken piece. I'm going to try the almond flavor of Feastables. It's okay, it's good almond chocolate. It's okay, it's good. It's not like very, very good, it's good. And I'll give this... Mr. Beast came here with her, sorry. Oh, Mr. Beast doesn't Are you sure about that? So I give the feasible almond flavor a 6.8 out of 10. It was better than the original one. It tastes a little bit sweeter, and almond makes it more delicious. All right, it's time to try the milk chocolate. The milk chocolate flavor of Feastable by Mr. Beast. Made with grass feed milk. Only five ingredients. Let's see what the milk chocolate tastes like. Look, this is a perfect piece of the Feastable, guys. <laughs> this is awesome, I like it. I'm not a big chocolate fan guys, but this is perfect. I like it. I give this a solid A. Yeah. W for the milk chocolate from Feastables by Mr. Beast guy. Alright, it's time to try the chocolate sea salt. I've never tried any sea salt or sour chocolate. So this is my first time trying the sea salt chocolate. Let's try the Feastables sea salt flavor. actually so good the crunchy salt inside of the chocolate bar makes it so perfect and makes it so tasty you can taste a lot of salt in this chocolate bar and this is what makes it perfect guys oh my god it's my favorite right now guys this is my favorite feastables sea salt flavor is a w i give this solid 9.1 out of 10 yes 9.1 it's actually ah. so good i like this a lot it's my actually one of my favorite chocolates right now all right, it's time to try the crunch flavor of Feastables. I hope it's gonna be so crunchy, but we'll see. Oh, it looks good. It looks so good. And in the back, wow. This is so good, this is pure beauty. Let's give it a try, the crunch flavor of Feastables. Wait, I apologize for the video that paused. It didn't pause. The video ended at that moment because while I was recording that video back to California, I didn't notice that the video was done because of my memory card was full and the video just paused and then I didn't notice that at that moment. I kept reviewing the chocolate. When I come back here, I checked the footage. I'm trying to edit the video and the footage is not full. At the crunch bar and these nut flavor, the video was paused and the video was done and I was so disappointed, I was in very tension but somehow your boy got the chocolates on his hands so I reviewed it with my cousin, it's on the next clip so I apologize for that guys, so let's go watch that part and enjoy the video, please support us and then go enjoy the rest of the video and I'll see you in the next part so everyone's saying if you want the truth, just ask a kid so this kid loves chocolate and loves Mr. Beast, you like Mr. Beast? I like Mr. Beast. Let's try the uh, Feastables Crunch Bar right. It's hard to open. Mr. Beast is actually a good guy, so he's 
super crunchy? Yeah, it's Whoa. super crunchy. Should we taste it? Taste it. It's good, but... It, it's good? Yeah. You like it? I like it. All right. I'll so give this seven, seven out of ten. Seven out of ten? Yeah. Well, let, me, let me see. Let me see. I mean, that, that's a fair rating. That's a very fair rating, brother. I appreciate it. Yeah. That's a solid 7 out of 10. Yeah. So we're going to try this this white Hershey's, but I, I don't think it was going to taste good. You, you don't think it's going to taste good as the Crunch Bar? Maybe. I Maybe? Don't we don't know. Let's try the Hershey's Cookies and Cream and see if it's better than Crunch Bar or no. Oh my gosh, it looks super crunchy, dude. Oh my gosh. Yeah. It looks Whoa. amazing, right? It looks cool. like a cookie, bro. Yeah. Look, this is the Hershey's cookies and cream. Like dragon fruit. Yeah, you're right. It looks like a dragon fruit. All right, let's try it. One, two, and three. Oh, super crunchy. Oh, so oh my super gosh, crunchy. it's super good. I'll oh, give yeah. this nine out of ten. You know why? Because it tastes like Oreo. Yeah. So, which one? Peaceful's Crunch Bar or Hershey's Crunch Bar? Hershey's. Hershey's? Hershey's better? Yeah. We wanted to Mr. Beast to win this challenge, but unfortunately, I don't think it's gonna happen, right? It's time to try the Deez Nut and compare it to the Reese's Peanut Butter Cups, and we're gonna see which one is better. Alright guys, we came outside to try the Deez Nut and the Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. We're gonna tell you which one is really better. Alright, which one do we try first? Uh, this one. I think the, the Mr. Beast is gonna not be good. Look at it, it's so beautiful. Whoa! You see the peanut butter. You just need peanut butter and the peanut butter jelly. Here you go, buddy. All right, let's go. Wow. That's super good. It's salty. It tastes like peanut butter, exactly, because it's all peanut butter. Yeah, man. I'll give this an 8 out of 10. I give it 8.2. I like it. We're going to try the Mr. Beast chocolate now. These nuts. We're going to try it. Doesn't taste any anything, bro. Ugh. I'll give this one out of ten. Are you serious? Yeah, it's so it's so yuck. Why? Because it doesn't taste anything like this. Guys, it doesn't taste anything like here. I'll be honest, it doesn't taste like peanut butter. It tastes like caramel inside. I think they put caramel instead of peanut butter inside. But it's good, I like it. I'm gonna give it a solid eight. I like it because it tastes like caramel. Oh, so, this one is the best. Which one? The Reese's? Yeah. And let me know in the comment section if you want more Umair in the videos. Debbie in the comment section for Umair if you want more videos with Umair. Keep supporting us. Fun fact about me and Mr. Beast. I actually learned my English from watching a lot of Mr. Beast videos. And Mr. Beast actually inspired me to become a content creator. And because I was watching a lot of Mr. Beast video, I learned English from Mr. Beast. I didn't learn English from school or somewhere. I learned it from Mr. Beast, Logan Paul, Jake Paul, Phase Rock. All the YouTubers that I used to watch a lot and I'm still watching them a lot and they're my inspiration to the content creation. If you watched it at the end of the video, just go comment a frog emoji. Yes, just a frog emoji to confuse the other skippers, the skippers that skipped the video. Alright guys, that was the video of today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys like it. Thank you so much for watching till the full of the video or till the end of the video, should I say. Yes, thank you so much. I really appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. And please don't forget to support us. Support us like how you're gonna support us. By subscribing, turn on the notifications, and give this video a giant thumbs up. So I'm back to uploading long form videos and short form videos on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for watching it. And I love you guys. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out for now.